Hi, everybody. Some of you have asked about what all goes into making something as complicated as the Savage Worlds Essentials box. So I thought I'd kind of step you through the process. This is the first thing we get, which are printouts and mock-ups done on, a, uh, on an in-office printer at the company we work with to show uh, you know, what things are going to look like, where the margins are going to be, that kind of stuff. So as you can see, it's pretty washed out. You can't really tell the color yet. We'll get that in the next step. But this is, uh, this is the first thing that we see. Now we start getting material samples. So these, for example, are the ammo and power counters. We went through several different versions to figure out what would actually be best and thick enough to work. Like this one was too thin. This one's about right. It's a little too thick. This is the one that I think we finally went with. We also did different samples for the, uh, the templates. So this is just the, the actual, um, it's not plexiglass, acrylic for the samples. And we had to choose you know, the thickness of the millimeter there. I think we went with the 1.5. This is a sample of the book itself and what it will feel like in our hands once we get it. So it's just a blank book that shows you the weight, half, the size, the dimensions. This is a sample of the collector's edition that shows us what the leather would be like. And we had a couple of different choices. We went to a little more green, a little more authentic look. I'll show you some more of those in a second. Same thing, big blank book, professionally bound. Looks great. This is a flute. This is actually, uh, and you'll see more of this when we get to the next step, there are uh, supports in the box so that you can put your book inside the Savage World's essential bo Essentials box and um, when it ships we need to put something in there to support it so that the room doesn't uh, doesn't collapse or some, something gets broken inside or the Benny shift around and break things etc. This is the top of the box and these are the various cards so this would be your status, power and um, adventure cards this would be the oversized action deck and of course we approve those too, so pull those out. And these are the, uh, the very high quality cards that we use to print on. And we get those and we, we check them out and make sure they're what we want. We check every single one. Again, there's a flute, which is a support so that this box doesn't get crushed in shipping. And what this allows you to do is you'll notice it's a little bit large. That's so that you can sleeve your cards if that's something you choose to do. Of course, you can also add additional ones as we print them or make them available online. So, you know, extra cards for a new setting or something. This is actually a complicated little piece. Uh, we went through several versions of this design, so not only does it hold the cards, but it needs to be very sturdy and stand up during shipping, especially since the bennies are going to go right here. And when these ship, if this isn't strong, they can, you know, when they shift around and UPS or FedEx or the post or Postal Service, this can get crushed. So we have to make sure this is all reinforced and very uh, firm. Next up is a, uh, an in-office print or mock-up of the collector's box itself. And we do this to make sure that the artwork hits right on the line like we need it to, that uh, you know, these aren't printed halfway up the, the border, and so on. Not for color. Okay, this is washed out. Now here you can see what those weird little bits were before. So this was a very complicated piece for the graphic designer since we'd never done anything like this before. But we actually printed on the tray. Pretty cool. And you can see this is the new, the sturdier design as well, which is the step that we learned from doing the white box in the last step. Okay, now we've got our dice samples in. This is actually a D8 leftover from the first ones. We liked them better in gold, so we went with that. These are, of course, the special custom wild dice with our uh, four core logo screen printed on them. And then we got samples for the collector's edition. This is another book similar to what you saw earlier. You may notice, actually that was the first one we got. This is actually the later one. We added the foam inside the cover to give it that uh, a little more full look. And also notice on this one, this is where our first attempt at doing the, the stitching around the outside. It looks pretty cool, gets better in a minute. This is the first attempts at stamping the logo on the front, so that's embossed. Uh, that will be printed in gold, of course, so we're anxious to see that. We don't actually have that yet. 
And then the actual sample of the collector's edition um, manufacturing itself, now you see we have the grommets and the edge protectors, which are super cool, all in bronze. Okay, now we're looking at color proofs. We do this so that we can make sure that things don't come out too dark, too light, etc. And these are done on the, uh, the machines directly at the factory, so their production level. And these are actual proofs. This is the back of the box. Look at all that amazing stuff. There's the front with that incredible artwork by Conrad. This is that complicated tray we talked about on the inside. Thanks, Aaron and Thomas and all the other graphic, Alita, all the other graphic designers who made that happen. There's your poster. These are the bookmarks. I think those came out beautiful. There's your cover. These are the final counters. You'll notice we made the arrow a little bit bigger and pulled it inside the circle a bit more. Here's the counters, power and ammo counters. Combat options and chase vehicle reference charts. This is the Game Master screen, assembled by the incredible Cheyenne Wright, featuring all this different art from uh, this book and others. So many great pieces there. Then we get kind of a mock up and proof of the screen. So you can see that there. And now we actually get mock-ups of assembled books. So here's the mini settings book. The World Builders and Game Masters Guide. You can see these are still production level, so the cover's not actually attached. They've not been bound yet. But we're checking for color at this stage. And of course, the big boy itself. We go through and make sure all the artwork looks great. We want to make sure that our artists are presented as well as we possibly can. And each one of these, for those who don't know much about uh, the printing process, every 16 pages is called a signature. And basically these are printed on big sheets, cut, and then bound together like that. And that's why books generally come in 16-page signatures. They don't have to. You can cut it short or add additional pages, whatever you want to do. You just pay extra for it. But generally, books are done in, in increments of 16. Okay, so now we're kind of at the, the moment of truth. This is the production level box. This sucker is beautiful. So you'll see this is printed you know, at the factory. So it's the actual color. It's the gloss. It's everything. And let's look inside. Poster, counters, power and ammo counters. They slide really nice, got a nice thickness to them, which is perfect. And this is one of the things, uh, you know, last minute production stuff, the back is just cardboard. We decided that was a little plain, so now it's going to be printed white. A little extra cost, but it looks a little nice. Oh, looky here. Official Bennies for Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. Let's get in that sturdy tray to hold everything in place. Acrylic templates. Here's that flute we talked about. And this takes up space and supports the box so that when you get your Savage Worlds book, it goes inside there just like that. It's really nice. You can put everything in the box. We didn't put them in the box because some people wanted additional boxes without extra books. Some people wanted books without boxes, etc. And it would make it very expensive otherwise. These are the bookmarks. Gorgeous Game Master screen we looked at earlier. Put together by a host of our artists like Aaron Riley and Conrad. And all graphic design by Cheyenne Wright and Aaron Acevedo. The mini settings book. Counters. And we had, had these bags, so if in case they do come out during transit, 
Uh, they'll still be in the bag. They won't be rattling loose all over the box. Nice thick cardboard there. It's gorgeous. Chases and combat reference charts. And of course the World Builder and Game Master's Guide. Who's that guy? Back of the box.